Now, if you live in Florida, you know how important it is for an air conditioner, right? But did you know that Florida was the first state to put air conditioners in the home? Well, if you didn't, don't worry. I did some digging. Let's get into it. Now, we have to start this thing off with Willis Carrier, okay? In 1902, he invented something that would change the way that we work, live, and play when it's hot outside. Now, back in the late 1800s, somebody already came up with an idea that you could be able to transport cool things in a cart, all right? They were selling like ice cream and a lot of things like that inside of this cart. So uh, Carrier took that idea and said, look, how can we do this on a larger scale? So he came up with a genius idea. He created a machine, all right, that would be able to take hot air and turn it into cool air which that's what the whole air conditioning term means anyway, okay? You have to condition the air. But these things were huge, big, bulky, but they were electric. Now, over the next decade, all right, these air conditioners became very popular, especially for like warehouses and things like that. But in 1915, Willis and six other inventors, um, they opened up a, a business called the Carrier Corporation so they could start distributing these air conditioners. Now, as we fast forward a few decades, I gotta introduce you to Frederick Jones, all right? Frederick Jones was an inventor and a businessman that had about 60 patents under his name. Now the patents under his name, they range from a lot of things, from cooling systems to also speakers because back in the day, he invented a sound system for projector screens. Now in the 1930s, a company came to Frederick and said, look, we need you to uh, come up with a way to keep our new trucks cool, the back of them. So Frederick was like, all right, I got a cool idea. So he created the, uh, the air conditioner for these trailers. But I didn't mention something about Frederick. See, Frederick, all right, he was also a sergeant, okay? in the uh, army and he also served in world war one all right but when he was serving in the war uh when soldiers would get injured you know they take them into them little tents and whatever so he also created a air conditioner to keep soldiers comfortable inside of the medical tents and to be honest this is where the idea for today's air conditioning came into play because this air conditioner is now portable because they was able to move it from tent to tent and also, they put these into bigger hospitals to keep people cool while they were, you know, recovering from whatever injuries that they was recovering from. But still, these aren't in the homes yet, okay? And these haven't came to Florida yet. So, fast forward a couple more decades till you get to the 50s. And this is where we get rolling. Now, we're moving on to somebody different now because this is J.Q. Sherman. Now, he also had a partner named H.H. Schultz, but I couldn't find any pictures of Mr. Schultz. So, we're just going to roll with this one. Now, Sherman and Schultz, they came up with a smooth idea. It was like, look, how can we get these into homes, all right? So, in Florida, they proposed an idea to say, look, we can put these little, you know, air conditioning systems right in your home, in your window, and you don't need a central setup to be able to cool your house down. And these things became a hit in Florida because as you know, it's hot in Florida, all right? And people were like, look, there's there's gotta be a way that we can stay cool. It's just way too hot inside of our home. So they started building homes. And if you wanted an upgrade, you could get the AC system put in your home while it was being built. Now, these things became really, really popular over the next few years, as you would think they would, all right? Because not only were they in homes, but they were in major hospitals. They was in every business that you could think of. And to be real with you, if you could afford one of these, you need to go ahead and grab you one and slide it on in your crib because you're going to need it. So when the word got out about air conditioning, all newspapers, everybody in the whole United States started putting the word out and you could now get an AC system built, customized for your home, all right? No matter where you are in the United States. And the thing is, is that if you go to buy a house or you go to sell a house and it don't got central AC or heating, because you need heat too, even though it don't be that cold in Florida, you need heat. The value of that house is nothing. You need to take a whole bunch of money off because if you don't got no air conditioner, nobody want to buy that house. Now, this is the thing, all right? It's a toss-up between who actually created the air conditioners. We know it wasn't H.A. Schultz now, all right? But between Frederick and Willis, that's where the problem lies, all right? So let's go to the headlines real quick, all right? So although Willis Carrier is largely credited with the inventing of the modern air conditioner, Frederick Jones, an African-American, invented the first portable air conditioning unit, all right? So... I'm going to put it like this. We got to shout out Willis Carrier for coming up with this whole idea anyway. But Frederick, okay, 
he kind of simplified it, made it portable, and it was used by everybody in that time frame. And then with A.J. Schultz and them, they said, look, we got to put these in houses, but we got to make it accessible for everybody. And I think between all of them, we should give them all credit because without any one of them, we, not, we might not be here today enjoying this AC. All right, you feel me? So the more you know, peace.